All right, so I have to admit, this is actually a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. I placed it about six inches away from the house, so the back wall of the house acts as a back support. And then the planters rise high enough to act as an armrest, and they're also wide enough on top so that I can place a nice, cool, refreshing beverage. In case you're finding this video first and you wanna see how this planter bench is built, you can go to my main channel, Simply Easy DIY, and you can find that project video there. Check the description, I'll have all the links. Now for me, the north side of the house is actually the back side, so this is actually in the shade all the time. So that's gonna work out well during the summer because it can get pretty sweltering in these backyards in central Florida in the middle of summer. So I had these bricks left over from a previous project and that project wasn't being used anymore. So I decided to take them out of that and use them here in this situation. And for some reason, I don't know why, I simply cannot get anything to grow in this area. It is, as you see it, sand. And of course, when we get a storm or on a windy day, the wind blows and it will blow this sand all across our back patio. It gets tracked inside the house and it's just a big annoyance. So I laid these bricks down and everything was fine until I got to this plant over here. And I gotta say, this plant is always in the way. When we go to use this back hose, it's just sort of there in the wrong spot. So I decided I was going to just relocate it and it actually works pretty well up here in the front. It's not gonna get trampled on as much and so I think it'll be a healthier plant. Also something that happens with this dirt pit up here is the kids tend to use it as their own sandbox and so it's, it was really unlevel to begin with and so I needed to flatten that out. But I wasn't gonna get too serious about that, just a rake and, and level out some of the worst spots there and I, that's good enough for me. So I had some leftover landscape cloth from a long time ago and I decided to lay that down just to keep any stray weeds from popping up between the mulch. But then at some point I ran out of that landscape cloth and so I actually had to go and rob some landscape cloth from around the garden. I had placed it around the garden beds to keep the weeds from growing up and around it but it didn't really work all that well so I decided I was just going to take that up there and then reuse it in this area here. So I got as far as I was going to go with that. I just sort of ran out of landscape cloth and I wasn't about to go and buy more because you know I'm cheap. As I said earlier nothing grows up here anyway so even if something did pop through it wasn't going to be anything but a stray weed that I could just pull by hand. I did go to the home improvement store and pick up a couple of these paver stones that you see here. Uh, I thought they looked pr really nice. It was a bit different from those regular square ones. So probably one of the questions that I will get asked about this is what did I use for protection of the wood? Because everyone seems to think that when you make something out of wood, six weeks later, it's just gonna disintegrate on you. And that's just not the case. I use this cedar colored deck stain and if you go to my website, I'll have links to all the materials that I used in this project. So you can see what I like and what I use. Now you don't have to use an outdoor deck stain. You can use paint and just paint the project, whatever it is that you want. You can use cedar if you've got deep pocketbooks, that's fine as well. Now on this project, I did do something that might be considered a bit extravagant for, my, for what I normally do. I went to the home improvement store and I picked up a couple of these uh, plastic planters. And then once I knew the size of the plastic planters that I had purchased, I was able to design my project around that. Uh, my wife was at the store the other day and she came across these outdoor cushions. And so she called and said, well, can I purchase these? This is the size of them. And I said, you know, purchase whatever it is that you want, whatever it is that you like, and I can adjust the width and the depth of the bench according to whatever it is that you bring home. And so that's what she did. And that is sort of what determined the width of this bench and also the depth of the bench. I just sort of took the measurements of the cushions that she had brought home and then I built this to suit. And that is one of the benefits of doing DIY in the first place. When you build stuff yourself and you come up with the designs yourself, you can make them whatever size you want. If you're seven foot two, then you can make this bench higher if you like, as opposed to someone who is three foot six. However, for the majority of people, I'm 5'11", which is probably a pretty common height for a lot of people. I placed the top of this bench without the cushions at 18 inches. And then I put the cushions on here, which are another two or three inches. And that is probably pretty comfortable height for most people. But like I said, if you're a taller person and you like your benches higher, then just measure a couple of inches higher up on the planter boxes and place the top of your bench slats at that point. 
Yes, we did go shopping for flowers. No, I can't tell you the type of flowers that we purchased. I just sort of went and got what was, what looked good to me anyway. Some of these plants I've had previous experience with and I know they do well in shade. Others, it said part shade at the store. I don't know exactly how well they'll do, but you know, they're flowers. I find that flowers generally do better here in Central Florida in the shade anyway, as opposed to direct sunlight. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't. Check me out on Facebook and Pinterest. If you like this video, here's a couple more you'll like as well. Until then.